34 past the hour. More on our breaking news this morning. A 4.8 magnitude earthquake centered in New Jersey rattled residents from Philadelphia all the way up to Boston. Any injuries as a result of the quake? Unknown at this time. In New York, Governor Kathy Hochul says her team is assessing impacts and any damage that may have occurred. As a matter of fact, we're expecting her to speak in just any minute now. And until we do that and we take you that, I want to talk more about this with science educator Bill Nye. Bill, good morning. It's always a pleasure to chat with you. What are your thoughts on uh, what we in the tri-state area experienced today? Not unusual, but certainly a rather intense one. Well, any, in my experience, anytime you get over four, uh, uh, yeah. you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of earthquake scales, and there's a, an argument that the Richter scale is old-fashioned. There's another argument that all scales are really Richter scales, and so on. But anytime you get over four, uh, stuff starts falling off the shelves, and that's I'd, I'd be surprised if things haven't fallen off the shelf shelves uh, in New York. So, you know, in general, this is a, a local effect. The North American tectonic plate is huge. And so uh, it's spreading out in the mid-Atlantic and moving uh, east to west, but then out west, like where you have Yellowstone National Park and so on, there is volcanism, volcanic activity. And so I bet you there's going to be some giant ripple that made its way across North America to shake New York. But it just shows you, everybody, the importance of being prepared. So uh, the old saying, uh, the old saying is earthquakes don't hurt people, buildings hurt people. So you want things to be as secure as reasonable, where you can still live your life. You know, you want cabinet doors that hold themselves shut during earthquakes. But the other thing is just, you know, everybody talks about this, just have flashlights, some food and water in case the electricity goes out for a couple of days, because that's very common. You know, when power lines start falling over or get disturbed, get disturbed, and then the safety systems shut things off, and it takes a while for them to be turned back on. Yeah, and I'm just thinking, Bill, and I'm thinking back to the many uh, earthquakes that I've covered over the 40 years of of, of my career. Certainly, a lot you of them fabulous. have been years very powerful. Been- yeah, well, it's true. But I'm thinking of the, the earthquake in September of 1985 in Mexico. Uh, that oh, wow. had, you know, the 8, 8.0. And then the next day, a 7.5 uh, that hit another time. I'm thinking of the, the earthquakes in Haiti in 2010 and Chile in 2010. The Mexican earthquake, you know, years later on the same day uh, in Mexico, there are always strong after shakes and sometimes earthquakes. That's not uncommon either. Yeah, exactly. So the Earth's crust is relieving some tension, some uh, slipping perhaps, some spreading, some uh, bowing or bending of the plate. And so uh, it doesn't all get relieved at once. And so this is the business of aftershocks. Those earthquakes you just referred to in general were caused along uh, the Pacific Rim or the the Ring of Fire, where uh, the the Pacific plates bumping up against the Juan de Fuca plate. These are tectonic plates with with, uh, geographical names. Uh, But here, having one on the Atlantic side is a little unusual, but it happens from time to time. You know, the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C. was closed or has been closed for several years as a result of the damage done by an earthquake. Yeah, it's a stone, a masonry structure, not really set up for yeah, earthquakes. I, just by happenstance, I was in Washington, D.C., in the Washington, D.C. area on that day in August of 2011, I believe, and I certainly felt it, uh, but it was, a, I, I'm looking at the notes here, I think it was a 5.8 uh, uh, on the scale back then. But you're absolutely right, Bill, a 5.8 in the uh, Washington, D.C. area. It was, I think, uh, centered about 80 miles from Washington, D.C. in Virginia. But the Washington Monument closed for three years. The, the National Cathedral uh, was damaged. It took millions and millions of dollars to to replace and repair the the national cathedral and the washington monument was closed for for three years but these are 
older structures that are clearly not and were not built thinking of earthquakes. Well, yeah, this area doesn't get them very often. But when, you know, when it shows up and you have stone structures, uh, there's p potential for trouble. The big thing in my experience is, is the disruption when, like airports have been shut down this morning. Right. Uh, and you just got to be ready for that. And by the way, everybody, earthquakes have nothing to do with the total eclipse that's coming. They happen mm. at night. They happen in the daytime. They happen any old time. There's... Uh, Whatever correlation you might perceive uh, is probably almost certainly coincidental. That's an interesting point because, yes, the uh, big solar eclipse on, on Monday is on a lot of people's minds. And I've often thought, you know, going back to those 40 years of different earthquakes, you know, what is it that causes them to, when there are fault lines, right, there's, a, there's always the push and pull, but what is it that causes them to actually collide? And that's something that, that Bill, I, I think that we just can never know. Well, we're doing our best to know. So, for example, uh, out west, uh, Caltech, California Technologi Technical Institute, has this app for your phone. And, you know, if you could get 30 seconds of warning, even 15 seconds of warning could make a tremendous difference in public safety. If people have the presence of mind to recognize that the app on the phone is telling you that the, there's a earthquake, what did you mention, 80 miles away, 120 kilometers away, whatever it'd be. If you have 15 seconds to get out of the house, out of the office building someplace, that, you, that could really save a lot of lives or also prevent a lot of damage. So this is um, something that geologists work very hard on, just as we talk about all the time in geology and science education, is this business of deep time. What happens on geologic timescales is just so fantastically much longer than what happens on human timescales that we tend to drop our guard. And then the organizations that are really interested in this problem are insurance companies that have to uh, assess or assay what damage was done by an earthquake or what damage could be done by an earthquake. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone, you hit search on the bottom right corner, you type in MSNBC, you click on the MSNBC app, you click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.